Hi and welcome, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman and you are joining us here today for Metaphysical Ministry International. What's a metaphysical ministry? Well, metaphysics is a philosophical branch of quantum physics. Quantum physics, you have to be living in a cave up in the Himalayan mountains to not have heard of quantum physics. It explains exactly how we create our reality with our thoughts. In fact, that everything we think about alters what it is that we're watching and observing. And this happens in experiment after experiment in science. So know that what you can witness of the world using only your five senses is extremely limiting. In fact, it's so limiting, it's less than 1%, 1% of what exists all around you. Allow yourself to be open to what's going on, to hear sounds when you can get really quiet you can hear the ohm which is the vibration of the earth everything is energy you can hear messages coming from your own spirit your higher self telling you what step to take when it even doesn't make the least bit of sense you can sometimes see things like other people's auras or something that doesn't even make sense, like a, a window opening in the middle of nowhere, when there can't be a window there. Anyway, there are so many things that you'll get to experience to really enrich your life and your experience of life when you recognize you are a multi-sensory being, allow it in, and that's what metaphysics is about as bigger than the picture you get with your physical senses. Now, we begin every week with a happy share. Why a happy share? It's how you create the habit of happiness. Because whatever you're focusing on is going to expand in your life. And happiness is a high vibration. And everything you want exists at that high vibration. And you can only attract that with which you are in harmony, speaking at a vibration fe frequency level. So a happy share is something that leaves you feeling happy, feeling good feeling peaceful or calm. And it's something that left you feeling good didn't happen to your spouse or your partner, to your parents or your kids or even your best friend. happened for you. So my happy share this week that I want to share is that I completed my very first telesummit. And I was a telesummit. I invited a number of guests in the field of body and image, in the field of emotion and love, and the underpinning basis for emotion and health, finances and business. And I interviewed them one at a time, obviously, put them all together in a series of calls that people could access live or afterwards through the internet. And you know what, I'm gonna leave you a link of where you can get hold of those calls and the very precious gifts that were donated and special offers by each of the speakers because they're totally worth having. Anyway, I'm extremely happy I did that because it was a heck of a lot of work, a heck of a lot more work than I thought it was going to be for me to do as an individual and the help that I thought I was going to have when I set it up didn't happen. So the fact that I was able to accomplish it, I feel really good about it. I feel really pleased and very, very happy because now I know I can do it again. I know what I'm doing. So this week I get to be the minstrel minister. And what I want to share with you is the fact that in every moment of every day, you are held with love in light. Every moment of every day, you are held with love in light. You are never, ever alone. You don't have to go through life on your own cause. Every moment of every day, you are held with light in love. And every moment in every way, you are held with love, the kind that sustains you when push comes to shove. Every moment of every day, you are held with love in light. Every moment of every day, you are held with love in light and that's all right it's all right because it's all accurate well who is it that's holding you with the love and the light 
what do I mean when I say you're never alone? You're never alone because you're not this separate entity, even though you have the illusion that all people are separate. The fact is, we're all energy. We're all the same energy as every other person, as the trees, as the flowers, as the planet itself. And we're just all different parts of it. Think of it this way. Have you ever seen a banyan tree? Well, that there could be a hundred trees and they all look to be, on the surface, individual and separate trees. But if you could somehow go and look at their root system, if you can make the dirt become invisible, see through, you would see it's the same root system. They're all the same tree growing with the same energy, only appearing above ground to be all separate and individual. Not only that, but there are entities, otherworldly energies, we're energies in this lifetime and we're energies when we transition to another world and there are some energies that never have been in bodies. Think angels. Have you ever seen one of these cameras that can photograph your aura, the energy bodies, fields around you? Well, I have a special picture from one of the times when I had a picture done in my aura and sitting right up there on my shoulder are three angels. How do we know they're angels? because their energy, their color is distinctly different and their shapes are different and there are three clearly distinct, identical, similar, similar, not quite identical shapes, totally different from the colors of my auric field. And whenever you need something, you call your angels and they're there to help you. You can ask for help from those who you love who have transitioned to the other side and if you allow yourself to feel it, they will come, they will be there for you. I know people who can see their relatives when they need to see them and they can talk to them. Whatever it is, it's a matter of recognizing you're a multi-sensory being. Allow yourself to go beyond those five senses. Experience the 99% of reality so then you'll know Beyond a shadow of a doubt, you're never alone. When you need something, you ask for it. And it's always there, as long as you know how to ask. And we've talked before about a prayer isn't something you ask for. A prayer is a speaking of gratitude for what you have. And when you can see everything in your life, and you probably notice my singing voice is still a little like this you know what, I am so grateful that I can sing at all, that when I have a message to share, I'm going to share it. And if I don't sound good enough to make a record right now, you know what, that's okay. Because I can still share my message in the way that's important to me, and share it. You're never alone. There's always somebody there with you. They might only be there in energy. But you know what, you can learn to ask, to feel the love, to feel the support, to ask somebody to show that they're there and something in your house might fall over. Or I have these paper sculptures that I made and one of them keeps falling off of where I've placed it even though I know I placed it very securely, it's not near the edge and there's no reason for it to show off. I sometimes ask that somebody come to visit me and let me know they're here. That's what's happening. So just remember, it's true in every moment of every day. You are held with love in light. Because love is the highest vibration there is. It is a vibration of source, the universe, God, whatever term you're comfortable with. If you're on the ministry site and you look up there, you will see a page called Hold a Space For. Holding the space means to help somebody hold the vision for them that they want to create in their lives. It might be a new job. It might be a new friendship. It might be living in a new home or finding a course that they don't know exists, but they have a certain thing they want to learn. And when they ask, oh, you do that by going down below and leaving your name and what it is you want us to hold the space for, and we will go ahead and put it up there on that page, come back at least once a week, 
read each name and each thing that's up there because you know what? The universe knows who the people are. You don't have to know who they are. I'm so glad you joined us here this week. And if you haven't done so already, please head on right over there. Put in your name and email in the box. And I will send you a copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. And please go down below or also up there and click share. And let other people know that we're here. Because we're not about religion, but we are totally about spirituality. I wish you a wonderful week recognizing the love that's around you all the time and the light of the universe that's holding you with that love. Blessings.